सेकंड सर हाँ प्लीज कम इन अरविंद यस सर यू फीलिंग कंफर्टेबल यस आई एम शुड वी स्टार्ट यस सर सो अरविंद प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ टू द पैनल सर माय नेम इज अरविंद हंगलेन आई कम फ्रॉम द स्टेट ऑफ मणिपुर इन फॉल वेस्ट डिस्ट्रिक्ट आई वाज बोर्न एंड ब्रॉड अपर एंड आई डिड माय स्कूलिंग टिल जॉब स्टैंडर्ड देयर एंड आफ्टर देन आई मूव्ड टू दिल्ली टू परस्यू माय ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी एंड आई हैव आल्सो इंटरेस्ट इन physical activities like body weight workout and i also participate in sports activities like marathon marathon yeah yes. i see you have done not marathon but half marathon yes sir half marathon and after coming from northeast to delhi yes sir how do you find the difference in culture how do you find the cultural difference between manipur and delhi so not very much difference uh, but i would uh, in term delhi it's like a melting pot of uh, cultures uh, so i i kind of see it as a parallel between the culture of uh, manipur and the delhi uh, for example in manipur there are heterogeneous communities different tribes uh, in the case of delhi there are also different communities uh, coming from different parts of india so in that sense uh, i see but an other cultural aspect that i see is the the difference in food habits sir. so that is there so uh, tell me why very few uh, students are able to make it to civil service from north east part of india what is it that stops them uh, so there can be couple of reasons uh, because if we compare the, the the empirical data of the selected ratio from the students of north east and the rest of india so it's a bit different uh, so first can be the region of uh, the, uh, the the quality of education sir so and the kind of exposures to the idea of uh, civil service preparation that is lacking there uh, so sir lekin uh, but sir however in recent times there has been increasing uh, number of selections uh, for example in 2020 eight candidates were selected from from manipur so we, i i i believe that we are moving in the direction and more awareness generation is also needed sir regarding the example all right so uh, let's move to imphal so tell me few things that uh, you would do for imphal three things in accordance with the priority that you would like to do for imphal if you get a chance so can you give me a couple of more uh so if i happen to serve in fall uh, then first priority would be to ensure safety and security sir of the people uh, that i would like to focus on uh, because the region has been disturbed and the, there is also the operation of the armed forces special force act 1958 and so second area that i would like to focus is on the um, the skilling and the improvement in the agriculture and other horticulture sectors that the present government is also focusing like the national bamboo mission and other horticulture species and third area sir i would like to focus on enhancing emotional integration sir like the people and the rest of india so that can also how how will you do that and how does that emotional integration will help i thought you will pick up something which you can monitor which you can you know what you cannot measure you cannot improve can you measure the lack of emotional uh, uh, qualities yes sir it, it is not measurable in quantitative terms but so all right so let's uh, move uh, forward you have selected manipuri literature why uh, said there are a couple of reasons uh, uh, firstly uh, when i started preparing for this exam Uh, i looked the slaves and it kind of intrigued me uh, seeing the variety of uh, the slaves and also sir i was inspired by my mother who herself is also a graduate in this subject so uh, so i took by virtue of this exam so i took the opportunity to expose myself to the 
I, to, to, to the beauty of this literature, which can also help me enhance my soft skills and also help me in understanding the society because uh, literature is okay. mirror to society. Uh, Arvind, tell me about Emphal's significance during freedom movement. What we call as Battle of Imphal. Yes. So, Battle of Imphal uh, that happened in 1944 uh, during the colonial rule. So, there were the Japanese forces and the, uh, the friction between the colonial British soldiers and the Japanese forces. And so, during that time, sir, uh, our freedom fighter Subhash Chandra Bose hoisted the uh, Indian National Army flag for the first time in Moirang. This is near the Lokak Lake in Manipur by mobilizing the local youth. So, and presently, sir, there is also the, his statue and the INA Memorial Museum there. So, that significance is there. Uh, apart from that, sir, there are certain several tribal freedom fighters like uh, Rani Gaiden Liu and other Kongna uh, Prasvasi, who was also recently honored by the Ministry of Art and Culture in Azadi Kamrit Mahotsu this year. Uh, two quick questions. Compare Tripura and Manipur. Give me at least seven points of differences. Tripura and Manipur. So, can you give me a couple of moments? So, seven points of difference. Uh, the first would be the geographical factor. Manipur borders Myanmar, like and serves a 398 kilometer long border, whereas Tripura borders the uh, Bangladesh. Second difference, uh, uh, Manipuri language is included under its schedule to the constitution, whereas Tripuri language is not yet recognized under the constitution. Third difference, uh, uh, Manip the demographic composition, sir. Uh, Manipuri, Manipur state has uh, three uh, communities like the Maitej, Naga, and the Kopi, which is not there in Tripura. And the uh, fourth difference, uh, uh, Loktak Lake is a Ramsar site. And place under Montrex record, but Tripura does not have any uh, Montrex record sites. And fifth, sir, the forest cover, as per the Indian state of forest report, uh, Manipuri, Manipur forest has dense forest vegetation compared to Tripura. And sixth difference, uh, uh, there is called Thangta, a kind of a martial art dance. Fine, fine, fine. So you will be able to make it. Just tell me about China's checkbook policy. Have you heard of China's checkbook policy? Uh, so yes, sir. China's checkbook diplomacy is a form of a death trap diplomacy kind of. Uh, so, given the China's economic and the GDP size, they give, give loans to certain small nations like Sri Lanka and the other Pacific Island nations. So, uh, using uh, so, so for example, say under the Belt and Road Initiative. They are giving loans. No, it's all right. They have given loan, but uh, are they also affected? Because there is a limit to giving loan. So, if you give too much of loan, what would be the uh, effect of checkbook diplomacy on China itself? Uh, sir, uh, I'm not aware of the impact of okay, China, okay. but multi But what, what happens to the countries who have uh, received? Yes, sir. Several experts have pointed out that that is unsustainable and it can lead to debt uh, crisis in the uh, debt nation. Okay. For example, Sri Lanka debt is in the US. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Arvind. Yes, sir. Uh, why of all the northeastern states, Manipur has become a powerhouse of sports? Uh, said there can be a couple of reasons. Uh, the first, uh, I would say the socio-cultural factor. Uh, for example, uh, yeah, Holi festival, uh, locally called as Yauksham in Manipur, uh, it happens, it occurs for five days. And the local clubs there organize sports events con continuously for five days. So that is there. So kind of uh, sports is inbuilt in the psyche of the lo local youth. Uh, second reason, sir, I would say sports is also seen as an economic necessity given the fact that the, the Manipuri population has a high, huge literacy rate of nearly 76 percent but the employment employment unemployment rate is nearly 44 percent as per the economic survey 
so people see this means as a form of economic necessity and the third reason sir the reason has been inflicted because of the insurgency crisis and the geographical proximity with the golden triangle so a lot of uh, disturb uh, uh, unfortunately disturb incidents so people find and and use the sport as a means to escape from this uh, unfortunate events okay and when uh, we we see one very positive phenomena in north northeastern states including manipur yes. that the percentage of uh, votes polled during elections is very high as compared to the rest of india like manipur had recently election state elections yes. the po- uh, percentage of votes polled was in the range of 85 to 86% yes. you are aware yes whereas in, in when we see in other parts of the country it is in the range of 70% so why why is so much of a high percentage we we see in the entire northeast manipur is no exception yes. so i want to know despite the fact that most of the northeastern states view uh, government uh, as something which is uh, you know repressing their uh, you know they are they are not helping them in economic development there are a lot of resentments against the government despite that they come forward in such a huge number to vote so can you give a couple of moments yeah please my question is clear yes sir clear yes sir uh, there can be a couple of reasons uh, the first reason sir i would like to commend the efforts of our election commissioner of india like the uh, swift uh, system of voters education enhancement uh, for part- for enhancing the participation of the voters and that election commission does it for the entire india and not, not only for the northeast they do it for Haryana, Punjab. Every, whenever there are elections, they use the same SOP. Yes. Sir. So, but uh, but if we factor in the population ratio of the northern states compared to larger states, the percent. I mean, let us. We are talking in terms of percentage. So, size of population doesn't matter here. It is the percentage of polling in uh, northeast is in the range of 85 percent, whereas here we have 67, 70, 75, 74. Yes. I I I don't think in any election it has crossed. More than seventy-five percent in the mainland. Uh, so in that case, I can think of two general uh, please tell me. examples. Tell me. Uh, so the first uh, example that I would like to mention: uh, there is a Madras Association in Manipur. So during elections, they mobilize uh, and they see elections. Okay, that is say, one. Tell me the second point you were you had in mind. Uh, so you said to you you have two points. Yes. So given the fact that the region has seen a lot of incidents and violence so people see uh, this voting as a means of their expressing their right uh, and the the idea of their okay political liberty to be exercised through this mechanism okay so, my last question arvin are you aware of any unesco intangible cultural height, uh, heritage tag for uh, some manipuri thing uh, unesco cultural uh, intangible cultural heritage intangible yeah uh, sir manipuri pung solom sankirtan dance Sa- sankirtan yes. right thank you arvin thank you for uh, <coughs> arvin yes sir you are talking about national bamboo mission yes sir what is national bamboo mission uh, sir uh, this mission launched by the government of india and the presently it's implemented under the in the case of northeastern regions uh, it is there is uh, ministerial collaboration between the donor ministry and the agricultural ministry so, so in in context of manipur what this mission do uh, sir in the context of manipur uh, there are 51 species of bamboo so under this mission a lot of funds are being injected to enhance forest cover at the same time to ensure that the benefits of this mission are reached to the farmers and the, the utilization of the bamboo products for handloom and handicraft industries okay recently the government of india has linked the national bamboo mission with gem portal government e marketplace yes hmm? yes are you aware of this fact yes sir gem gem so why why it has been linked and what are the benefits the manipuri people will get out of this thing out of this linkages uh, 
itself linking the this bamboo products with the gem portal will ensure that the uh, adequate marketing of the bamboo products will be there sir. and so any uh, government entities or any interested parties can procure from the small and um, micro enterprises. Okay. What are the products, Arvind? In uh, what are the bamboo products that you are uh, putting on the gem portal in in Manipur from Manipur? Sir, I think I have to look. You have to. You have to specifically look. Yes. Into it. Uh, what are certain uh, threats to the Manipur forest? There are certain threats to Manipur forest. What are those threats? Uh, the first threat, sir, um, the rats. Rats? Yes, sir. Uh, so they impact the forest diversity and fungal diseases also occur. And, and it was in the new world. Any forest anthropogenic world. threat? Yes, sir. Forest fires, sir. Forest? Forest fires. Fires. Yes. Okay. You are from Manipur. Yes. Sir. Manipur is a very ancient area, very, very ancient land, you know? Yes. Do you find, do you know that this Manipur has got references, it has in, in very old Indian scriptures? Yes. Huh? Yes. It has certain references. Yes. Can you name those scriptures, ancient Indian scriptures where the Manipur is referred? Uh, so I can think of two scriptures. Uh, as of Three scriptures. Yeah, so. uh, the first would be um, Chanakya's. It was meant the Ahom kingdom was also mentioned, and the relation of Ahom and Manipuri kingdom was also mentioned there yeah, in, indirectly, sir. Second, direct mention as per historians, uh, they said that the, the land of Manipur is the place where uh, uh, Arjun went and married a, a local princess. What was the name of the local princess? Sir, Chitrangada? Yes, yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. And the third mention, sir, in the Manipuri script uh, itself, sir, like the Chaitharul Kumbaba. The Manipur is also, uh, I mean, uh, the, uh, there was a mathematician or I don't know what he called it, Panini. Panini. Yes, Panini sir. has also mentioned, so you have a Surma Valley or Sarmas Valley in Manipur? Surma Valley. So, you don't have, I'm no I, don't know. I think Panini has also have. by the way, no issue. I will read upon that. Okay. Uh, in Arunachal Pradesh, there is a tribe in Northeast that is called Bugun tribe. Have you heard of Bugun tribe? Bugun, so I think I have to look. You have to look into it. Uh, now tell me why this hornbill is protected in Nagaland? Generally, hornbill is protected in Nagaland. Why? Yes, uh, Hornbill Festival is there uh, to promote awareness among the locals, and the, the people of Nagaland. So, in the same line, any any bird or any animal which is being protected by the Manipuri people? Uh, so, Sangai is there. Sangai, bro antelope, there, the state animal of Manipur. Uh, it's also an endangered species under IUCN red list. So, it's annually a festival is held in the month of December. Uh, to promote awareness among the youths and the various stakeholders. Good. Thank you, Arvind. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. <coughs> so, Arvind. Yes, sir. Manipuri literature is your optional subject. Yes, sir. So, in <coughs> the initial answers, you mentioned literature is the mirror of the society. Yes. Sir. So, how does lit literature shapes the society? Can you explain? So can you give me a couple of moments? So uh, can I answer with a quotation? Like, uh, so in literature, there is a saying, uh, we campaign in poetry and govern in prose. So I think that sums up how, mirror, uh, how literature reflects the changing dynamics of society. Uh, for example, so Manipuri literature starts from the 33 AD. The oral history part. So the various transition from the uh, the form of tribal way of lifestyle to the uh, adoption of the Vaishnavism culture so that is seen in various forms of literature. And the other example, uh, even in the other uh, in Hindi literature or 
or other regional literature like the Kannada literature. Sir. A lot of uh, administration aspects are also seen in literature. For example, uh, in Kannada literature, um, Sri Krishna Deva Raya's Amukta Malyada, sir, that kind okay. of so, Can you highlight a major achievements of Manipuri literature? Uh, sir, Any uh, achievements? Yes. Uh, Sahitya Academy Awards was honored in 1973 uh, in a book called Socio. Uh, sir, can I translate in the English? It actually was named as uh, Imphala Musung Magi uh, but it was later translated as Socio Economic Political Condition of Manipur. So, the writer uses a new uh, technique called the stream of consciousness uh, introduced in first time in the literature. Okay, that's enough. Uh, you are a marathon runner also. Yes. Sir. So, we see most of the marathon runners or long distance runners from Kenya or Africa. So, can you highlight the reason? Sir, I was also intrigued by the same fact and I happened to watch a documentary. So, as per the documentary, they say that the, the people are trained in high altitudes and that is very good for the leg muscles. And second, specific Kalimji diet. So, I am not aware of the procedure, how they make, but the people believe that this diet is very uh, unique to their uh, physical and mental development. Okay, you also <coughs> practice body weight workout. Yes, sir. So, in India, uh, we have the problem of obesity, yes. but not very prominent in Northeast. Northeast areas, there are not many obese people, whereas in other parts of India, there are many obese people. Yes. So, can you identify the reasons? Uh, so, the first region would be the geographical region, sir, and uh, the rest, like the, the northern regions of India, are plain, and the northeastern region are hilly. Terrain, so people have to travel for long distances, and that burns a lot of calories. Sir. Also, second, sir, the diet, I would say, um, in north, in the place where I come from, sir, there are a lesser amount of uh, street food culture. Uh, but when I come to Delhi, I was exposed to different kind of food, uh, street foods, which kind of intrigue also. Sir. Okay, yes. Okay, when my last question is on international relation, how can India reduce its trade deficit? With China. Tell me something apart from Atmanirbharta. Uh, so I can think of a few uh, ways to reduce uh, because we are having a trade deficit of nearly dollar hundred billion. So uh, the first can be um, so we need to diversify our import market from other countries also. Second, building uh, empowering our MSME sector. For raw materials like active pharmaceuticals, active pharmaceutical ingredients that we presently import from China. Uh, at the same time, so we have to grow our economy. Right? Okay, thank you, Arvind. I pass on to Chairman, sir. Thank you, sir. So, Arvind, uh, normally RBI takes steps to control inflation. Yes, sir. Uh, tell me what government of India can do to check inflation besides RBI. Sir, uh, while well, RBI uh, reduced, uh, increased repo rate to counter inflation, uh, government of India at the same time can play the role of fiscal policies. Uh, for example, sir, um, the rationalization of the spending programs so that money supply is rest is uh, at the optimum amount in the economy. Uh, along with that, sir, the recommendations given by the RBI, RBI's monetary policy committee for maintaining the inflation within it, uh, the band of 2 to 6 percent. I think that needs to be effectively implemented. Good. And last question, <coughs> Arvind, tell me what are uh, recent advancements in physics? Physics uh, is in use for many yes. developments that are taking place. So, just give me three, two or three uh, such developments in physics. So, the first development that I can think of is the that uh, in a US lab has achieved surplus in nuclear uh, surplus energy in nuclear fusion reaction. So, uh, laser fusion reactor was there. And second, uh, in space, uh, 
साइंस जेम्स वेब स्पेस टेलीस्कोप हैज कैप्चर मैग्निफिशेंट इमेजेस ऑफ सुपरनोवा एंड सो वी साइंटिस्ट आर डूइंग अ डिटेल्ड स्टडी ऑन द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ यूनिवर्स थ्रू दिस इमेजेस एंड दिस इज अ थर्ड डेवलपमेंट इन क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स लाइक इसरो हैज रिसेंटली डेमोस्ट्रेटेड क्वांटम की डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एज अ फॉर्म मींस ऑफ सिक्योर कम्युनिकेशन एंड वेरियस रिसर्च आर बीइंग कंडक्टेड इन दिस फील्ड and what is uh, higgs boson you have heard of higgs yes. boson uh, higgs boson or uh, the god particles uh, god particles yes. one of the subatomic particle that was uh, discovered in the by the last hadron collider so i think i need to look more into the technicalities yeah. but what is significance of god particle sir scientists believe that this is one of the uh, fundamental building blocks of matter so Good. all everything <coughs> so arvin the we have exhausted all the questions that we wanted to ask you if you think anything is left out from your depth so tell me i can ask one question from your depth on the area <coughs> you, you would like to say so i think the astim panel has ask the relevant amount of questions and i would like to leave it to your wisdom thank you arvin so you can wait outside we we'll call you hmm? welcome sir ha please come ha is good have a seat arvin thank you sir so arvin the what is your own thinking how you have done uh, some my mouth became very dry while speaking <laughs> i think i became very hydrated uh, dehydrated so dehydrated you, you could have uh, questions i i think i fumbled uh, other than that ha uh, take take some water yes <clears throat> now tell us how you felt on your own performance you think you were good very good exceptional so i would like it to left with your wisdom <laughs> no no it's all right so arvin then uh, we'll tell you you were very good you were very good very good personality only thing you know with such a good personality good communication balanced uh, words appropriate words uh, you have used your sitting posture you are slightly yes so this is how you should be sitting more pure Uh, yes so your sitting posture you know gave an impression as if you know your body is uh, it shows lack of confidence or something how is that so just be more confident sit straight you were very good and almost all the question the entire panel is very happy with you thank you and uh, your replies pertaining to northeastern and variety i think there is hardly anything i can suggest but for look into how china is not wrapped into its own checkbook diplomacy all right so this question is to just check that easier to give loans but then that also has to be subject to certain conditions and for which projects loans were given you did not mention belt and road so you should have <coughs> connected belt and road uh, projects for which huge uh, amount of loans and imf also got involved so read more on it rest all you were very good so let's hear from our members uh, aap batla i mean well arvin you were very balanced very balanced relaxed confident and i think your overall personality was very good just your answer on civil services one uh, uh, mother i mean parents are always sources of inspiration for everyone but usko aap mention mat kijiye come out with your own idea why civil services so highlight good points of civil services uniqueness of civil services public service diverse opportunities and uh, you know challenges your personal career growth and then you can also mention 
that I was also inspired by my um, parents. In the second line. Ah, second. But first you should because otherwise you have a very emotional answer. And bureaucracy has no place for this. You have to be very objective, very, uh, you know, this. Usme aapka, ye main wohi hai aapka. Diverse aapka opportunities vagara hai. Uska mention ki jiye. Or mother ke baare mein, parents ka kati jiye. I was also inspired by my uh, uh, family and friends. Just make a general, but it should be, it should come second. Okay. So otherwise you are very good. Thoda serious the aap. You were a little bit serious. Yeah, I, I also felt the same. So, thoda keep, haan, wo hai, isme, apne dekhi, be more lively. You should give an impression, uh, Arvind, that you are enjoying this conversation. So, how will we know, come to know? That will only be possible to see from your smiling face. Right? How do you say? Mm-hmm. Arvind, you are, you are a very good candidate. You have done very well. Just, I suggest that Beyond Manipur, move around other states of North East also. Okay, so try to learn something about other states as well. Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Mizoram, all these places. There are important tribes who protect birds, who, like Bugun tribe of this. Uh, they, they they protect a bird that is called Bugun Liochi, Bugun Liochi bird. They protect that bird. Like Hornbill is protected by Naga, Nagaland. So that is for biodiversity conservation and all that. For forests, you know. Uh, so, uh, but overall, I mean, you are a very good candidate. Uh, you have done very well. You, you know the money, your state's history also. I was quite impressed about that. So that is a good thing. History and the current things, the current aspects of uh, climate, biodiversity, people. Customs, traditions, folk dances, folk theatres, all such things <coughs> of Northeast and developmental activities, recent developmental activities, infrastructure. Okay. Overall, you are a very good candidate. All the best. So, <coughs> Arvind, I share the same opinion. So, I liked your answer on why less civil servants from Manipur, that uh, there is a good trend now. And you quoted the data also. So, overall, you were very good. Just Smile when the member is asking the question. That is the right time to give a pleasant smile. Okay, otherwise you are very good. Keep it up, sir. So I pass on to chairman, sir. <coughs> so Arvind, we have given you sixty-six percent marks. One eighty-two marks. One eighty-two, which is good. But you are excellent candidate. You should. Aim and aspire uh, for more than 200. Yes. You can easily achieve it. Just work on these suggestions. Okay. Any <coughs> any question you have? Uh, so I just want to ask about Thai color. Thai color appears to be all right. I only think if, plain. if it is plain, it will be good. Plain, maybe maroon color would look good. better. Even color, this color is good, but go for a plain color, not, not this printed so one. So either plain. Uh, blue or plain maroon, and if you don't have, then uh, uh, this is okay. All right. maroon, maroon will look very good on this. On this, this suit, maroon will go. A dark blue, hai na? navy blue. This is dark blue color. Yes. Mean, this suit, suit, suit. suit. Yes, dark. dark blue. So then maroon will look good. Thank you, sir. I mean, just straight. one thing, you know, you completed your study in uh, education in the year 2016. Yes, ma'am. So they can ask you, you know, it's almost seven years. What yes. have you been doing for seven years? Yes. So just think of an answer for that. Ah, yes, that is very important. That is very important. Thank you. What are you doing by the way? Seven years? Sir, I work in home, so and in part time job, and then. I started preparation in 2018. Because this is your fifth attempt. So I can see that almost five years continuously you have been trying. Okay. Just, just prepare yourself. You were supporting yourself. Yeah. Thank you, sir. All the best. Thank you, sir. All Thank you, sir. It was really a grateful experience for me. <laughs> no, we enjoyed it. So we yeah. enjoyed and we, we are sure we will see your name there. And your picture here in Chahal Academy.
Oldu <gülüyor> 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 Thank you.